How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Tech with KG. Today I want to go over some Samsung 2023 TV changes in regards to settings and functionality that you might not be aware of. Alright, so let's get straight into it with some of the menu system changes. Now the way that you navigate the Samsung TV menu is going to be a little bit different this year. You can press the settings button and instantly you will see that the settings screen will pop up. Now you'll notice that right away it says multi view on your settings bar and that's something that's just not there usually. You usually see all settings. For some reason Samsung navigated the all settings all the way to the right so you're going to want to make sure you go to list edit and move that all the way back to the left. Now you can move these icons around as you please. All right, the next thing is actually a really exciting change. It's a functionality change to the way that they do the HDR tone mapping. Instead of just applying any kind of tone mapping that they want to any picture mode that they want, like they did in the past, which led to a lot of controversy last year with the S95B, where some people really liked the non-accurate way that the S95B shipped. And then after it was updated to be more accurate with movie and filmmaker mode, then a lot of people just lost a mode that they really like because the tone mapping was changed. And so this this year you actually have static and advanced tone mapping to make both parties happy and if you're a fan of picture accuracy then you have static and if you are a fan of picture pop then you got the active setting for your HDR tone mapping so let me know in the comments are you a fan of the accuracy or are you a fan of the picture pop and do you think this is a good change I personally think this is a great change because now you can make both parties happy with that change in mind there is another change that was applied to game mode that we have to talk about and before we get into that i just want to ask you guys if you're getting value out of this video to please hit the subscribe button to see more future videos just like this i also do reviews and side by sides so it's going to be a great year for tv technology if that's something that you are into all right let's get straight into this game mode discussion because the hdr has really changed for game mode now the way that you operate it is going to be kind of tricky so you got to listen up this is going to change your settings completely this is also going to change the way that you set up your game hdr in your ps5 and your xbox series x so all of these things are going to come together at the very end and you're going to understand that this is a positive change the first thing i want to call out about the new game mode changes is that they added some more game picture modes now you can navigate through these and you will see that they added an original mode. I actually like this original mode because it's very similar to what kind of settings I would give out to people as a starting point. It just turns off all of the things that might feel a little bit unnecessary. So if you use this original option, it's going to be really great for most people to have a warm color tone and just a really great looking game mode image without the extra contrast enhancer applied to it. Now, if you like that kind of stuff, you could of course add it, but there is just something for everybody now for the game picture mode options. Whereas before it was just everything had contrast enhancer and I couldn't recommend any of the game picture modes, but now original actually looks pretty good. All right, so for the biggest change though, by far is the game picture expert menu. And to pull this up, you just hold the play button to bring up the game bar and then you see game mode settings. You click that, you scroll down to game picture expert and then you can see that right underneath HDR 10 plus gaming, which by the way, does almost nothing. You can see that game HDR, which does something is now having two different options. It has a basic and advanced option. And it also has off, of course, if you don't want to use it. So first I want to make sure you guys are aware that once you toggle this on, it will change whatever game settings you're currently using in terms of your TV settings. Take a look at my expert settings right now. This is from the original game mode preset that I just talked about, but I'm going to go ahead and make a few adjustments really quickly, just for the sake of showing you what game HDR can do to your settings. So let's just say my color tone, I like like warm one better than warm two here and then let's say that I like my color space at auto maybe put my sharpness at four and then everything else is fine now we're going to go to the game picture expert settings we're going to click on game HDR and we're going to switch that to basic we're going to see it did something to our picture settings so you can see that I changed my sharpness to 10 and they changed my color space settings to native. So this is going to be the default settings that you get when you turn on game HDR basic. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're wondering why you have radioactive green grass on basic, that is why. All right, so everything else, just adjust the settings how you like it. I personally think 10 is a little much on sharpness, so I'm going down to four. So every time I switch to that, that's what I'll get. And I wanted to note that the HDR tone mapping is set to static. 
and this is going to be the more accurate way to do it. So that is good for basic because basic is going to be your more accurate mode in game mode. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to game picture expert and I'm gonna change it from basic to advanced. You can see again, the picture will change. Now I'm going to the picture mode options. We're gonna to go to expert settings again. You can see that my settings are completely different. It changed the sharpness again to 10, but this time it engaged contrast enhancer on high. The color tone is now standard instead of warm too. You also will see that the color space is also at native. This is what Samsung is thinking that you want for the advanced picture pop mode. Now, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of contrast enhancers, so I'd probably turn that one off. I don't like that radioactive green, so the color space settings have to change to auto. Color tone, that's just gonna be your personal preference. I personally like warm two or warm one on these Samsung TVs, so that's what I'm going to put it at. Now, the actual HDR tone mapping here, you're going to wanna leave that on active for your advanced mode because this is more for your picture pop, and this will give you that. Now, if you feel like for some reason it might be a little bit too raised, what you could do is go down to the ST2084 and pull that down a little bit. So you can see Samsung applies extra settings when you engage these modes. And I just wanted to call that out because it might be kind of confusing what is happening to your picture if you're just engaging these without looking at the expert settings menu to see what changed. Now we're gonna go through the HDR calibration setup screen on an Xbox system, and you can apply the same method to the PlayStation 5 as well. But we're just gonna use the Xbox on example because that's what I have hooked up at the moment. So I'm gonna take it out of the game HDR so you can see what happens when you try to set up the HDR game calibration with that not active. First screen, you're likely just going to leave this at zero. If you are in a brighter room and you just have trouble seeing, then you might wanna raise it up a little bit, but I just like it at zero. I think that's the way that most people should do it or you might have raised blacks. So now I'm setting up the luminance here and they are clipping at about 5,000 nits with the game HDR off. And if I engage the active mode, then it's 10,000 nits. Both of them are not going to be too ideal if you wanna have a good accurate gaming experience. So what we'll do now is we'll actually engage the game picture expert. We're gonna change game HDR to basic and then we're gonna go ahead and set up the menu and see where that takes us. Setting up this screen, we're gonna see where it actually disappears. You can see it disappears completely at about 1100 nits. So this is more in line with the 43 inch QN90C. And when I switch it to advanced, it clips at about 1400 nits. So from what I saw, I like game HDR engaged, whether you use active or static, that's up to you, but I thought it looked better than having it off. So make sure you do use it if you are trying the TV. So that is the game HDR. Now a few things I wanna call out about the game bar this year is that Game Motion Plus now has a level one and level two toggle where you can see that. That's basically just going to be your fast and fastest from last year. That's just telling you, you have your Game Motion Plus fully engaged on level two. And if you wanna know more about the Game Motion Plus, I made a full video about it and how to set it up. So check that out if you're interested in Game Motion Plus. The other thing is the virtual aim point. You can just add a crosshair to the screen. And the final thing I wanna talk about is going to be the auto HDR setting. Now, this is something that I don't have on the 43 inch QN90C. And I wanted to say that because it's not clear. The 43 inch and the 50 inch QN90C do not have the auto HDR, you're not going to have that on those sizes, but 55 and up will have that function. I can't really tell you too much about it because I haven't tested it out, but it will apply an auto HDR remastering to your SDR image. I'll see what that really does in real world situations. Once I get a bigger version of this TV that has that, I will be sure to test it for you guys. And you will see that here on the channel. So don't worry, I will cover that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more future content just like this. And if you enjoyed this video, I have another video that you might like right here.